It doesn't seem fair. After 89 years, collecting lighthouses, living a good life. I was happy. I was happy. Of course, I'm always happy. Even Marge can't put on a poker face today. I never thought she'd come over there and... <clears throat> Marge, who lives, grocery shops, does everything on her own, first spotted a woman at the Fred Meyer Pharmacy down the street, who she says then followed her home. So I turned around to get my groceries out of the car, and I had my purse on my arm. And she walked over and grabbed my purse. When she grabbed, Marge wasn't about to let go. It was mine. It was my possession. They didn't have any right to it. You were angry. Yes. But the woman was too strong, dragging her away. Marge's eye and knees may look bad, but that's not what hurts most. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in the human race. To think somebody would do something like that. A little down, sure, but she's no softy. If I could get a hold of her, I'd use a baseball bat on her. She wants a second shot at whoever did this. And she better watch her back because you're going to take care of her. <laughs> you come back here, I'll use a baseball bat on you. Or I'll use that cane that I got over there with a steel head on it. That looks like a just hanging out. over there. Yeah. I wouldn't want to mess with you. <laughs> yeah, I take Marge pretty seriously. Police are investigating. Marge says there were two people, a driver in a getaway car, an orange 1970s station wagon, and a younger woman who grabbed the purse. Marge says about five foot seven, she says, but Marge was beaten up pretty badly, but still she was able to get the first three digits off the license plate. Police now have that to work with. So she had her wits about her. She's feeling better after spending last night in the hospital. And just a neat woman, one tough lady. She is one tough lady. Hope they find those suspects too. We'll uh, absolutely. Stay on top of that one. Thank you, Emily. I don't blame her for being so disappointed mm -hmm. either. Marge's grandson contacted us about this story. If there's something you want us to know about, you can email us at newstips at katu.com.